name is Sheila Beckin. Do you rabbi from another planet? Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So this is a weird story. I don't know. It might be real. It might be not. I do not know. Uh, uh, Doctor Who musical episode coming in season 14. Uh, listen, the thing that's coming most in season 14, I think, is Russell D. Davis. Hey, look. People say, uh, uh, he's box ticking, all this box ticking, Jinx Monsoon, uh, uh, I can't remember the name, Yasmin Finney, whatever they, yeah, the big box ticking. I, I don't think that's what it is. I, I think he, he's hiring people who, who who he wants to fuck, okay? Essentially, that's, I think he's doing the traditional Hollywood thing of the casting couch, sort of, but a kind of uh, uh, less oppressive, uh, less... Uh, uh, transaction -y, more friendly way that seems to be the vibe i'm getting all right so uh, uh apparently uh one of the one uh, of the rumors circulating around for the, the upcoming season season 14 upcoming era an era that i cannot get a bead on at all it goes from awesome to awful awesome to awful i gotta really see it i guess before i can really decide if i like it or not really i i was convinced beyond convinced there was no possibility whatsoever of Star Trek Picard being any good. And frankly, I'm still convinced it can't have been, but it was excellent. So I don't know. I've seen a bunch of stuff. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't gel together. I have to see it in, in context to, to really understand it. I, look, Shooty looks like it's going to be great. Do you know, it looks like she's going to be great. There's a lot that looks like they're going to be great. I just can't synthesize together. But a new thing that came out that, said, that makes me more confused and more unable to process this is the idea of there being a musical episode. Will there be a musical episode of Doctor Who? I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, it, it makes sense. It fits into everything else we know. But uh, 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 what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I discussed it on my live stream last night. I live stream every day. Please join me for live streams. Uh, uh, I'm on Rumble. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Twitter. Uh, live stream and all my video content go what goes on to all those platforms. You also on Facebook, you get me a few, a few things. Uh, I put videos there as well. But yeah, I, I try and be omnipotent everywhere, all the time. That's how you find the rabbi. But anyway, I uh, uh, was discussing on my live stream last night and uh, over a f several bits of the screen. So I, I put them all together. So we have one vaguely coherent video and i say coherent and keep in mind i'm doing it vaguely coherent video that uh, addresses the the uh, uh, the topic the subject what do you think well it doesn't sound awful does it sound good i i don't know i did, honestly i don't know i i like pushing boundaries i like going somewhere new i like interesting things i like i like thinking things i haven't thought before right that i that's all the stuff i like and i doctor you always used to be good for that uh, uh, now, <laughs> yeah, the no, Jody Whittaker years were, uh, uh, not so much, right? Unfortunately. So, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The bottom line, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it'll be good? I don't, again, I keep saying I don't know. That is my, uh, take on the new year. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, what do you think? A, a musical is that? It could work. Could be good. It, it all depends, right? <laughs> I, have, I have to see it to work it out. I have to see it to evaluate. So yeah, that's basically where I, where I am with it. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, um, comment on the comments, especially on Rumble, right? I hardly get comments on Rumble, and I'm really trying to build up my, my Rumble chat. Rumble's a YouTube chat, if you don't know. And it's fabulous. You can talk freely there. And yet, no, there are, like, you know, hate speech rules and laws in place. It's just not crazy ones, right? Ones that involve you being hateful. That I, I'm all for, you know, not the, they're not having hate speech, but I'm all for, also for having an open discussion, right? I feel the reason we don't have open discussion is because the people who are prohibiting it don't have any answers. Can't answer them, <laughs> and they just don't want to deal, essentially. But uh, uh, there you go. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you want to be a real solid, he head over to Rumble and subscribe to me there. That would be fantastic. I am very, very grateful for anybody. Yeah, if you subscribe, you like, you share, thank you for doing that. Genuinely, that that really, really helps me make my life better. So thank Thank you very much. I am I am grateful. As I said, this was on my live stream last night. So let me hand over to me. Oh, God, you know, I hope I was wearing a different shirt. You know, I can't remember. <laughs> I was wearing a different shirt, but I have like a few colors and they all look the same. So I hope when I say a handing over to me from last night, I'm not going to look like I just fe fell asleep in the same clothes and woke up, which, you know, I have done, but not for about 30 years, you know. <laughs> yeah, when I grew up, not so much. Anyway, but yeah, if you're a kid doing that, you enjoy, baby. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are fantastic. Let me head over to me from last night.
uh, a musical. I said, so, so, so uh, Shai Mac, yeah, that's a word. Say, we'll be, we'll be going over that story uh, 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 pretty early on. Listen, did it work for Buffy? Um, I don't know it could uh, listen. I mean, did it, how did you feel about uh, uh, what's more the feeling the 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 Buffy musical episode? Did I like it? Did I not like it? I liked Buffy at the time, and they basically everything they did I liked, right? Because I like Buffy. But was it good? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, that that isn't that's a that's a real poser, isn't it? Last night, you know, did anybody um burst into song? Life's a show, and we all play our parts, and you can sing a I don't like it, but I don't like musicals. <laughs> it's like, like, it's not fair me saying I don't like it. And I think, you know, Mich Sarah Michelle Gellar's thing is kind of hot. Uh, uh, and, yeah, they carried a the tune, if, if it was them. <laughs> and it's clear that the this, this, this cast liked it more than anybody else. They, they're, all, they're all really into musical theatre, right? That's all what they all really want to do. Uh, um, <laughs> Showtime. Thought you wanted me to stay away from you. Isn't that what you sang? Spike sang a little song. Spike was like the best thing about Buffy. Let's be fair. I mean, it really was. <laughs> See, okay, that was disturbing. That like they all kind of vanished instantly. <laughs> I mean, like they were all really reasonably talented and hot, and just like boom, never saw any of them again. In fact, what's the name? Spike had the best Buffy afterlife, I think. People will be talking about all November long. Buffy the musical. Do musical episodes work? So it's like, ah, how did you feel about that? And that that's really the question, right? But bottom line, were fans uh, uh, after a Buffy musical? I don't know. Look, at that time, I was a Buffy fan, right? I was a Joss Whedon fan, right? And he could do no wrong, right? He interacted with fandom. I can tell you, 90s fandom was really cool. You had um, uh, David Icke and uh, what's his name from Battlestar Galactica. They were awesome. Okay. They, uh, uh, was it not Brandon Bragger? Oh, who was it? Battlestar. Oh, bloody hell. Battlestar Galactic. I mean, they must have fallen out because they, 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 they never worked together since. But man, they were great at it. I mean, they were just fantastic. Um, yeah, here we go. Doing it's looking up on IMDb. Uh, Ron D. Moore, right? Ron D. Moore and David Icke, right? Uh, um, they had such a great rapport with the audience. Like one time, they had this, uh, um, uh, this couple who were super fans and they invited them to set for their wedding, right? Because, uh, and it said, and they said, nobody asked, you're all going to ask us, and never, it's never, ever, 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 ever going to happen again, right? They used to do these little videos, like five minute shorts. This was back, it was in the early days of uh, of uh, the interwebs, man. Right? It's awesome, right? And, and they, it was, yeah, that's worth getting the DVD, the Blu rays, because it has all this stuff on it, and it's fantastic. It, it is all fantastic. But it had a real uh, rapport with the audience. The audio commentaries came out just like with uh, uh, Russ Lee Davis. Again, it was that era. Uh, of like the two early 2000s, of uh, they came out as podcasts and you would listen to them right uh, um, over watching the episode. It's um, it was really good musical. That's the next thing we're gonna look at. There you go. See, that's why I went back to the uh, um, calm down. <laughs> I knew it would remind me, right? I knew it would remind me. There you go, doink. Uh, indestructible Captain Scarlet, da 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 da. Captain Scarlet is indestructible. You are not. Remember this and do not try to emulate him. Um, in a Captain Scarlet movie, 
uh, uh, can he have some kind of uh, robot that would like say things like in the third bird? Captain Scarlet is indestructible. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Archie. No, 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 you are not. Remember this and do not try to emulate him. Yes, see, I'm, I'm so good at this, mate. I, I can, I make these movies. Okay, uh, World Series uh, 14 featuring musical episode. Um. Doctor Who is a show that experiments with various types of episodes over its, over its almost 60 years, yet one has alluded a full-on dancing, prancing musical episode. Uh, is the show finally about to pull the trigger on that one? I mean, listen, I, I think your one will be hard-pressed to say the new era doesn't look a bit camp, right? It looks a bit butlins, to be honest with you, mate. Um... Well, the speculation come. Uh, where's the speculation coming from? I hear, uh, I hear you ask. Well, many have already seen Jinx Jink Monsoon was announced to be joining the cast for Rusty Davis' uh, second era, uh, starring Shooty Gat was uh, uh, starring Shooty Gat's fifteenth Doctor. Uh, this week saw the costume for Monsoon's reveal uh, the do uh, and the Doctor and companion Ruby. The BBC also confirmed the episode will be set during the swing of sixties, but they didn't say Jinx Monsoon's in this episode. You're putting that together, aren't you? Now, can you think of a better era for a music episode? I can't think of more of a wasted opportunity. I mean, the last sixes episode was Remembrance of the Daleks, wasn't it? I think. Um, let's have a quick think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, in okay, season one, you went back to the eighties. In series two, I don't think you had anything in recent history. Series three, you had well, a hundred years or so ago. Uh, Agatha Christie. That's the twenty. Yeah, I don't think you had you had, you had a sixes episode. No, it does, it's not uh, jumping out to me. Um, but yeah, no. But all that. But remember, the Doctor is awesome for for the sixes setting. Uh, where are we up to? Uh, for the monsoon's character, uh, in particular, I can't help but notice the outfit is very uh, musically themed. Well, that is true, right? Um. I don't know, look, mate. I don't want to tell you. It looks shit to me. Like I, I'm. I think she, look. A lot of it, a lot of this looks very good. Shooty looks very good. Millie looks very good. The TARDIS sounds like it's going to look very good. Like a lot of it looks very good. Jinx Monsoon legitimately looks shit to me, right? And it's not because oh no, he's drag. The whole drag thing's a whole other issue. I'm just saying. In addition to the drag issue, he looks a bit shit to me. Uh, with Monsoon's character in particular, I can't remember a very musical thing. In addition, Monsoon, for those unfamiliar, is an actor, singer, and stage performer who is known for having an impressive vocal range in, se uh, in several productions. Well, yeah, he built it out, or she built it out, whether, how, whatever the name, whatever the pronouns are. With Monsoon's musical background, it's very likely that they will be playing a role uh, requiring some singing. Well, yeah, again, obviously, right? Uh, musical episodes have become popular trope uh, in many genre series over the years. Let's also get Russell Lee Davis' biggest influence of the Buffy the Vampires there. What's more of a feeling? We went over that already uh, in uh, season six. Episode. Well, it was generally considered that season six is... Was it season five when it jumped the shark or season four? But well, season six, I think it jumped back, didn't it? Like, I can't remember. Right? I really can't remember. Um... Da -da 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 -da. It all worked out very well. In fact, the episode was so well received, it's still considered a standout episode. 20. Okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, so I didn't know if people liked it or not. Uh, during the revival era, uh, Rossi Day was, uh, was one of the first to try something different from the norm with Series 2 episode Love and Monsters. I like that a lot, but I, I, I like pushing the envelope and experimental stuff. I do, but I, you know, I really genuinely like that a lot. Uh... Uh, <laughs> Mary Barron Burrows. I don't know what's the connection to this. Is she needs to live on Woke Island. I love Musk. I love Trump. I love Jeff. Oh, we're talking about Suze, obviously. Yeah, man. Suze is just not a happy person. Bless her. Right? She's just not a happy person. Man. I would, I'm really glad I'm not Suze. Okay. Uh, 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 fantastic tits, notwithstanding. Uh, uh, and they are gorgeous. Uh, uh, well, they are if you get them at the right line. If not, eh, not so much. Um, what are we up to? 
Uh, and as some may recall the story, told that uh, from the perspective of the people inside the group were investigating the Doctor's adventures. Oh, other monsters. The episode was also the departure from the normal. Yeah, because it was the double back one. Uh, blink, turn left. Yes. Yeah, I always like restrictions on it. So yeah, will we get a, uh, a musical episode? Uh, Doctor has never been afraid to try new things, and a musical episode would work. I, I, I think. Oh God. I look. Here's the thing. I think it needs to establish itself as being very traditionally good, right? And, and it seems to. Be, I think it's going to be good. I do. I just think it's got a lot. It's going to have a lot of weird casting in it. Is is basically the bottom line, right? Um, I, I guess we'll wait and see. My name's Ella Beck, and you rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. Yeah.